Hi guys, I'm Ilaf. Today we'll fix OneDrive error 8004DE40 in Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows Server 2012 and Windows Server 2008R2. In our previous video, we have covered the Windows 10 devices, but we were left out with all these devices. So I'll collate all this information in this video. So let's have a look. Today we'll discuss the issue, the cause of this issue and the resolution for this issue. Let's have a look at the issue. While signing into your OneDrive application, you might receive one of these two error messages. OneDrive can't sign in, followed by this error code. Or you might get an error stating login was either interrupted or unsuccessful. Please try logging in again, followed by the error code. Let's discuss some cause for this issue. Slow or bad internet can cause this error messages as well. But if you're pretty sure that your internet is fine, then you can check for your VPN or firewall. Maybe there might be some settings or some configuration that might be blocking OneDrive's access to the internet. So do check this. And lastly, the deprecation of TLS 1.0 and 1.1 protocol might cause this issue as well. Because there might be scenarios wherein your TLS 1.2 is not enabled on your devices. And in this specific video, uh, we are talking about devices like Windows 7, Windows 8 and 2012. So 2012 has uh, TLS 1.2 enabled uh, by default, but for Windows 7, Windows 8, they are not. So we will have to manually fix that. So let's have a look at that. And we will discuss the resolution for Windows 7, Service Pack 1 installed machines, Windows 8, Windows Server 2012 and Windows Server 2008 R2 with Service Pack 1 installed. Before we move on to the resolution part, I would like to give a disclaimer to you guys. So in most of our resolution, we'll be playing around with the registry keys and uh, it is always wise to keep a backup of your registry before you make any changes. And if you make some changes incorrectly in the registry editor, it might cause some serious problem. And to fix those problem, the only solution would be to reinstall or re-image your operating system. So use registry editor at your own risk and uh, it is always safe to try the troubleshooting steps on a test machine or test workstation before you implement it on your production machine. All right. Now we'll move on to the resolution. First of all, we will discuss the fix for Windows 7 Service Pack 1 devices. The easiest fix is to use the easy fix tool from Microsoft. Download, install and run this tool. Follow the on-screen instructions and that should fix your issue. You don't have to do anything more than this. But if the easy fix tool doesn't work, then you need to install this KB from either Windows updates or you can download the standalone package from Microsoft update catalog. Let me show you the catalog. So this is the Microsoft Update Catalog Center or site. You can find this KB, which is 3140245. And these two are for Windows 7. You need to download and run this KB for it to install it in your system. Once that is done, we'll move on to third step. The third step would be to manually add the registry key that is default secure protocols with the value, this one, into your locations, which are these two. All right. And once you do that, restart your device and perform a OneDrive reset. And that should probably fix your issue. But if you still face the issue, just check for internet properties. All you need to do is search inetcpl.cpl in start menu, advance, select the ls 1.2 from those protocol lists and click on OK. That should fix your issue. Moving on to the fix for Windows 8 devices, it is almost the same like Windows 7. So we can use EasyFix tool and check if that fixes the issue. If it doesn't, then definitely we will install the KB from either Windows updates or the Microsoft update catalog. And inside the site, you can see that it is also available for Windows 8 devices for 32 bit and 64 bit system. So you can download and install any one of those, whatever suits your need. And once you install the KB, all you need to do is add the registry D word default secure protocol with this value in these two locations. Make sure your TLS 1.2 is selected in your internet properties. Once you have checked and done all these changes, restart your device and perform a OneDrive reset. 
that should fix your issue. For Windows 2012 and Windows 2008 R2 SP1, it's a bit different. First of all, EasyFix tool should fix the issue. If it doesn't, then definitely the same thing. You need to install the KBs. You can either find it in Windows Updates, but if you cannot find it in the Windows Update, you can definitely download it from Microsoft Update Catalog. It is a standalone package. Download, install and run it. Once that is done, add the registry with this key in these two locations. Check internet properties and check if TLS 1.2 is enabled or not. Once that is done, restart the device, perform OneDrive reset and start your OneDrive again to check if that fixes your issue. So if you follow these five steps and if your issue is still not resolved, then you can definitely disable DHE Cypher Suits from registry for your Windows Server 2012 and 2008 R2. All you need to do is open registry editor, navigate to this path, select or create Diffie Hellman subkey if it does not exist and add a value 0 to enable it, exit your registry editor. So if you feel like this is not working out for you, you can undo this by setting this value, the Diffie Hellman value to 1 that will undo the changes. These are all the steps that should help you fix the issue. But uh, if none of the above steps fix the issue, consider trying the steps we covered in my Windows 10 blog, which is to enable uh, the cipher suit and sort them in this below priority by either using PowerShell or the GUI tool, which is IIS Crypto. Link is in the description again and in the video as well. And you can follow the steps to fix the issue. And just for your information, guys, these are the registry keys and values for protocols. So this one is for SSL 2.0, this one is for SSL 3.0, this one for TLS 1.0 and similarly 1.1 and 1.2. And if you create a registry key with the name default secure protocols and add either of these values, it will enable that protocol on your device. For example, if you want to enable TLS 1.1 and 1.2, all you need to do is open a calculator in programmer mode, add these two values and you will get a re resulting registry value, which would be this one. So if you want to enable any combination of uh, this protocols, all you need to do is add those values in the programmer mode of your calculator and use that value in default secure protocols key. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching the video. Like, comment and share and please subscribe to our channel.